Hello, how you doing? It's Mr. Do the Math, and today we're going to talk about rational exponents. Okay. Here we go. Now we're going to incorporate all of this stuff into an actual problem problem, right? <laughs> so we got 4a squared b to the negative 2 over 3 power minus 5a squared all over b to the 1 third power. Right? So, in this particular case, the first thing you do, the first thing you do is you got to get rid of that fraction in the denominator. Okay? So, fraction in the denominator. So, looking at it like this, if this was the cube root of b, what would you have to do to get that radical to change? How many more b's do you need? Three. You need three b's. That's one b right there, though. How many more b's do you need to bring into the part? We need two more b's at, right? So that'd be b squared, right? So then, how would you write b squared as a fraction? Two over three. So we got b to the two over three here, right? And b to the two over three there, right? So we set it up, okay? So now, when we add th these two over three b's to this b, then we're gonna have one b left, right? So then the B's can be cool in the bottom, all right? All right, so let's, let's multiply. So we got uh, B times this, so that would be 4A squared, B to the negative 2 over 3 times B to the 2 over 3, right? Does everybody see what I did? All right, and then we got to do it here. So that would be negative 5A squared, B to the 2 over 3. Right? We'll simplify this in a second. All right, and then at the bottom, we got b to the one-third times b to the two-thirds. When you multiply, you add. So that's one-third plus two-thirds, and this is negative two-thirds plus positive two, plus two-thirds, okay? So let's do the math here. What's, what's this negative two plus two? Zero. So we got 4a squared b to the 0 power minus 5a squared b to the 2 thirds all over what's 1 third plus 2 thirds? 3 thirds, right? So yeah, 3 over 3. All right, let's simplify it again. Like if you see it already, you're good. Like I just didn't want to skip all the way there. So b to the 0 power is the same as what? 1. Anything to the 0 power is 1. So we got 4a squared minus 5a squared b to the 2 over 3 all over 3 over 3, which is 1. So this is our answer. Okay? That ain't bad. The main thing is get rid of this denominator. Nah, that's Nah, that was cool. Y'all did. Y'all didn't have no issue with it. I'm just doing what y'all told me to do. Y'all told me all this stuff. Yeah, they're telling you to. All right, let's look at number nine. All right, number nine is a lot like like yesterday. So we got eight minus x to the one half power. Right. All right, again, x to the one half power is the same as looking at it like this. If we had uh, eight minus the square root of x. Right. So remember. What did I say? What do we do if we got the if we got this binomial? How do we get rid of the binomial? What do we got to do? Say, talk louder, man. Multiply by what? What do we got to do? Eight minus square root of x. Eight minus square root of x. Eight plus square root of x. Yeah, eight plus the square root of x. Good. Right. So you add you uh, multiply by the conjugate. Eight. This right? It was minus and became plus. Right? With the fraction. Do y'all want to do the fraction exponents or do y'all like the radical? Just to jump right into this. Just to jump right into this? All right, cool. So, like, let's distribute vowel, vowel. So, that's going to be uh, 7x. No, well, not 7x, I'm sure. What's 8 times 5? I mean, uh, 7 times 8. 56. 56. See, I told you y'all giving me these answers. 56x plus 7 times x times the square root of x. Right? What's x times the square root of x? Huh? 
All right, we'll deal with it in a second. All right, we're good. All right, let's double distribute here. Like, so we got eight times eight, 64. What's eight times the square root of x? So that'd be uh, plus eight root x. And then we got uh, negative minus eight root x. And then we got um, negative x times, negative square root of x times the square root of x, which gives you uh, minus the square root of x squared. Okay? What happens in this middle? Oh, see, look, I wouldn't have been able to do that without y'all. All right, so then we got 56x plus, we'll come back to this x times the square root of x in a second, over um, 64 minus, what's x squared? What's the square root of x squared? Not one. X, it's just x, right? So the bottom is cool, right? Now let's deal with this one right here, right? So x times the square root of x is the same as x times x to the one half power, okay? So now this is one plus one half, right? Let's make this one, let's get common denominators here. What would that be? Say a letter. Two. Two. two over two. So it'd be two over two plus one over two, which is what? Yeah, it's 3 over 2. See, I can't do it without y'all. So, um, it'll be 56x plus 7x to the 3 halves, right, to the 3 over 2, all over 64 minus x, right? So, again, it's beautiful that we just went straight from here to, like, rewrite it like this because it looks a lot better. Plus, we don't like dealing with fractions for real, for real, all right? And then, um, and then we're good. All right, now, here's the, here's the beautiful part about rational exponents. We can do this multiplication. The cube root of x times the square root of x to the fifth, right? So what we got to do here, we can't multiply these. What we got to do here is change these to rational exponents, right? What would, be these, what would these be as a rational exponent? Say it loud. Say it, Karen. What's up? You see it? You just looked over there. You just looked over there and saw it. What is it? Say it. You were just going to say it before you said it. I don't know. Say it. The Q root. Say it. X to the what? Thank you. X to the one third times what would this one be? X to the five over two. 5 over 2. Okay? okay. Alright, now, when you multiply, what do you do to the exponents, Miles? When you multiply variables, what do you do to the exponents? When you multiply variables, what do you do to the exponents? You add them. So look, it's going to be x to the 1 third plus 5 over 2. Alright? Here we need common denominators. What's the common denominator? Say it loud. The 6. Right? So what will we multiply one third by to get six? Two. Two. Right? What will we multiply five halves by? Three. Three. All right? Let's do it. So it'll be um, x to the two over six plus 15 over six, which gives us what? 17 over six. Okay? Now, we got 17 over six. We can simplify this because we got some, because uh, we got to get back to here, right? So we can simplify this. Let's look at it first, right? How would you write this as a radical? This would be the sixth root of what? X to, X to the 17th power, right? So 17 is bigger than this, than this index, right? So that means that we got some of these inside of 17. How many sixes inside 17? Two. And a two in there, right? So we we'll pull two out. What's left over? Very good. All right, let me backtrack. That, what we did was we divided 17 by 6. We got 2, right? That's what came out. We gave us 12. 17 minus 12 is 5. The 5 went there, all right? 2 went with the x outside, and then the 5 stayed in. So that's our answer, okay? Okay? All right, let's look at the last one. 
Look at the last month. So, I'm going to put it right here again. The last one. Last one. We got 4x to the negative 3 all over y squared all raised to the negative 1 half power. All right? The first thing you want to do here is get rid of the negative exponents inside the parentheses. Right? So, how do I get rid of this negative exponent? Yeah, you all move it down. So we're gonna move this x to the third, to the negative third, down to the bottom with the uh, y. So it'll be four over x to the third y squared. Okay, good job. Now we gotta get rid of the negative outside exponent. What do we do there? Say, what do you think? Say, what you thinking? Nothing. You ain't thinking nothing. You wanted to say something. What do you want to say? Without thinking, what do you want to say? Mm. Say a lot. You want to distribute and flip? We should flip, then distribute. Let's flip first. All right, because we want to get rid of this. When we flip it, look, when we flip it, we bring x to the third y squared here, and then we bring this 4. The negative sign disappears. Because we, we flipped it. We... We reciprocal, we flipped it. Just like, okay. just like it, just like, where was it at? It was on, like if I had x to the one half, negative one half, I mean, if I had x to the negative two, what would I do to it? You would bring it down. I'm going down. So that's what we did right here, okay? Now, from here, we'll distribute that negative sign, that, that one half through. So it'd be, bow, so it'd be x to the three times one half, y to the 2 times 1 half over 4 to the 1 half, okay? All right? 3 times 1 half gives you the plus 3 over 1 times, 3 over 1 times that, 2 over 1 times that. So that's going to be x to the 3 halves. And then you got y to the, what's the 2 over 2? Two? 2 over 2 is the same as what? 1, we'll change that in a second. And then you got 4 to the 1 half. What's 4 to the 1 half power? Yeah. 4 to the 1 half is 2. Because 4 to the 1 half is the same as the square root of 4. Okay? So then our answer would be x to the 3 halves y over 2. Okay? So for the most part, like, so this is what we're doing. We've got to simplify numbers, find our groups, right? Then we're going to write our exponents, and then we're going to simplify our exponents. Um, and then, in certain cases, we're going to write out the radical. In other cases, like here, it feels better to change this to a radical, so change it to the radical and then do the math, right? And then write out as a rational if they ask for it, okay? So, if you have any more questions, comment below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, let's do the math. Out.